Hello, Warrior of the Planet here bringing you exclusive and shocking information on Halo 4. I've been a fan of the Halo series since 1, 2, Halo Wars, ODST, and 3. But when I found out that this new Halo isn't made by Bungie, I know that Bungie didn't make Halo uh, Wars either, but Halo Wars was different gameplay. But Halo 4 isn't made by Bungie, so it's going to have a whole new different storyline to it, different gameplay. It's not going to have the original Bungie gameplay and, and storyline behind it. It's going to have a whole new different gameplay different agenda and you know who knows what real companies behind making it uh, because if you were you know following the halo thing you know the magic behind halo 4 uh, you know if anybody really knows and you know knows how to decode all that knows what magic's behind it probably some ancient babylonian magic beast behind it or some shit like that but anyways you know um i saw some of the halo 4 gameplay and you know the new uh Enemies that you fight are demons and, you know, cre uh, creatures from hell or something like that. And uh, what they drop is their new, the new rifle that they have is a light rifle, a rifle of light. And, you know, I'm telling you, it's like uh, Halo 4 has a lot of different uh, satanic agendas and symbolism to it. You know, different subliminal messages. And, you know, what I saw in the gameplay and the trailer, well, it kind of disappointed me as a Halo fan, you know, because you know, they're just using this franchise to uh you know get to the masses that's real behind it you know because halo 4 has a you know a lot of fans behind it and you know i was just real you know just real disappointed and and when i had decoded it you know and that's what they're using it for so you know let's just check out in the decoding of this trailer and you know let you let you guys decide you know i'm warrior of the planet thanks for tuning in become a warrior planet and stay strong tune in for new videos it's been four years since the end of the war. And today we send forth a vessel designed for battle, but now repurposed for peace. Home to 17,000 of our best, our brightest. This is the culmination of human achievement. First time in a generation, we commission a UNSC starship meant not to wage war, but to peacefully advance the cause of mankind through the discovery of new worlds. <laughs> 